People are immunological individuals. They have different genetic backgrounds. Uh, they have lifelong histories of uh, diseases and um, provocations of the immune system, experiences that impact um, on, on the immune responsiveness. And, and there's always some people who, whose immune system will not react to the pathogen because of this. And in others, the immune system may react too much to it, so that we are actually damaged by the immunopathology rather than the pathogen. Yeah, adaptive immunity is adapting us to the pathogens of our environment and then providing us with long-term, lifelong, actually, immunity. The adaptive immune system can go wrong. It can create antibodies which are harmful by themselves because they alarm again, uh, in, in retrospect, the innate immune system uh, to, uh, to secrete lots of harmful substances. And the cells of the adaptive immune system themselves can lose their specificity get out of control, secrete these harmful substances and create a lot of damage. And that, that is why natural infection um, uh, to create herd immunity is not a good way to pursue. Uh, rather, we need good vaccines, which, are much, which will allow to trigger much um, more effective and long lasting and protective uh, immunity. We can actually engineer the vaccine we can give it several times without any harmful side effects. And then we will actually generate much more powerful humoral protection than the original virus. But they have to be tested. And the, and the challenge is actually to test them fast enough um, and, and develop in the future ways to test them very fast so that they actually even uh, can be used in an ongoing uh, pandemic.